Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create the granny square that I call sky. You can find the pattern and the chart to go along with this over on my blog post. I'll leave the link in the description below. This pattern can be done with any number of colors. The three combinations I like the best are the three colored version, which is this one. And that's easy enough to just use with three colors. The one I'm going to show you today is going to be five colors. Great for using up your stash. And then it also works really well with seven colors. So it seems to work well with the odd numbered colors, but really you could use any colors because this square is a great stash buster. So today I'm going to show you how to do the five color one. And I'm using a white, a nice golden brown, uh, a light uh, turquoise blue, this kind of beige color and a gray. So for all that information, you can find the pattern, the yarn that I use, the written instruction and the chart over on my blog post. And I will leave a link in the description below. So let's get started. We are using our first color, color A. Again, we're using five colors for this. So our first color A in my case is going to be this soft white. So we're going to start with our slip knot. So the way I do it again is I wrap it around my first two fingers with the end hanging at the bottom. And then I bring it back over the third finger, go under the first loop, over the second, pull it through. Oops, make sure it stays on your hook. Slip your fingers out and pull them together. Then to pull it up to the hook, you pull them apart. And there's your slip knot. And you'll get faster with that as you practice it. We're going to go ahead with our foundation and we're going to chain six. So you put your yarn over and pull the yarn through. That's a chain. And we're going to do six of those. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to join our loop or join our chain into a loop by slip stitching into the first chain that we created. So put your hook in, wrap your yarn over the hook and pull it through that chain and the one on the hook. And now you've created your foundation loop. Our round one is going to be worked into the center. So let's continue now with round one and we will continue with color A. So we're going to start our round one with a chain four. So one, two, three, and four. And this counts as a double crochet and a chain one. Now again, we're working all of our stitches into the center loop. Now that we've done our first chain four, we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet. So yarn over your hook, insert into the center of this loop, yarn over your hook again, pull a loop through. You have three on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops and yarn over, pull through the remaining two. That's your double crochet. And then you do a chain one. So the double crochet chain one represents your repeat. And in the instructions, we say we want to repeat from the star 10 more times. So this means that we're going to do the double crochet and chain one 10 more times. So one distinction is, is when you have stars and they say repeat from star this many more times, it doesn't count the first one. It means do it 10 more times. When you see things in brackets, it's a total of the number of times. So we'll uh, come across that in this pattern and I will address it when we get to it. So we're going to do it 10 more times. So again, one more time, we're going to do double crochet into the center loop and finish your double crochet and chain one. So we've done it one more time. So we need to do now nine more times and I will meet you back here at the end of the repeat. So here we are at the end of the repeat. We've repeated between the stars 10 more times. So we actually gives us a total of 12 of these double crochets. So counting this first chain three that counts as a double crochet, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And the chain one spaces match. And you'll see that at the end, that's what you're supposed to have. 
So to complete round one, we're going to slip stitch in the third chain of our starting chain. Remember our starting chain was a chain four, but we only want to go into the third chain. So count up one, two, three, insert your hook, yarn over, pull it through that chain and the one on the hook. And there you go. You have completed round one. So I'm done with my white. I'm going to go ahead and clip my white and I'll meet you back here for round two. So we're back for round number two and round number two requires me to change to color B, which in my case is a warm brown color. So again, I had clipped my white and what I do is I like to just pull it through and fasten off. That's how I do mine. There's many ways that you can do that, but that's how I fasten off mine. So now we're going to start with color B and we are going to join it in any one of these chain one spaces. You don't have to join in the same place and I actually don't recommend it so that you don't bulk up your motif all in one line. You'll notice in my charts, I have the joining all in the same place simply so you can see them so that you can locate them and they're not dispersed around the chart. So they're hard to find. But when I actually create the motifs, I do disperse them around the motif. So let's go ahead and choose one of these chain one spaces and pull up our color B and then we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet in that same chain one is joining. So put our hook in and pull up another loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops. That's your single crochet. Then we're going to chain two and then we're going to move over to the next chain one space. So skipping over the double crochet, you're going to work into the next chain one space. So you're going to single crochet and then you're going to chain two. So that is your repeat and you're going to repeat that 10 more times. So we'll do it one more time, skipping over this double crochet. We're going to insert into the next chain one space and work a single crochet and then we're going to chain two. So you're going to repeat that around the number of times it says it says 10 more times. We just did another one there and I will meet you back at the end of this repeat. So here we are. We've done our repeat 10 more times and we finished with a chain two for our last repeat. And now we're back at the beginning and we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet to join the round and end it. So just pull that right through both. That ends our round. And again, I just clip my yarn when I'm done. So you leave enough of an end that you can darn in. So clip it. And I darn all those ends in later. And then I just pull my yarn through. So that's how I work my endings. And there you have round two. And we're ready for round three. So for round three, I'm going to use my color C, which in my case is this nice turquoise blue. And I'm going to join it in any one of these chain two spaces. So again, I rotate a little further over so my ends aren't all in one place. Let's just choose one here and pull up a loop. And that is how we join our color C. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to work two single crochet into that chain two space. And then we're going to chain one and we're going to skip over the next single crochet when work into the next chain two space. So again, we're going to do the repeat, which is two single crochet, chain one, and you're going to skip over the next single crochet. So that's your repeat. You're going to do that 10 more times all the way around until you get back to the beginning. So I'm going to meet you back at the end of the repeat. So here we are at the end of round three. We've repeated all of our repeats and we are back at the beginning and we are going to slip stitch into our first single crochet of the round and finish off. And I finish off by clipping my yarn, giving it enough of an end that I can darn in about four inches or so, and then pull it through. And that finishes round three. So now we move on to round four and round four is calling for color D and that's going to be this nice beige. 
So we're going to join it in any one of these chain one spaces. So again, I rotate a little further from where I ended the round and I pull up a loop. So round four, we're going to chain four. So that's two, three, and four. And that counts as our double crochet and a chain one. So then we're also going to double crochet. So yarn over for a double crochet into this same chain one space that we joined in. So pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, pull through the first two and the second two. And then we're going to chain one, skip over the next two single crochets. And then in the next chain one space, we have a square bracket, which means that you're going to work everything in the square bracket into that next space. You're going to do double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all into that chain one space. And then you're going to repeat from the star 10 more times. So the star was chain one, skip next to single crochet, and then the square bracket, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet into that same chain one space. So that was a repeat. You're going to continue to do that repeat. Uh, it asks you to do it 10 more times, which we just did the first of the 10. And you're gonna go all the way around until we get back to the end of the round and I will meet you there. And here we are at the end of the repeat. So now we're gonna finish off by chain one and then slip stitch in the third chain of our starting chain. So again, we had a starting four chain, but we only want to slip stitch into the third chain because we want to make it equivalent to the double crochet. So one, two, three, all we have to do is slip that hook into the third chain and pull through a loop and pull it through the loop on the hook. And that finishes that round. Clip your yarn around three to four inches of it there, pull it through. And that is the end of round four. So in round five, we're working with our last color, which is A, B, C, D, E, color E. And in my case, it's a gray. So remember the, the names and types of yarns I'm using for this particular pattern are in the blog post. You can find the link for that and it'll tell you exactly what yarns and color numbers I used. So we are on to round number five and we are going to slip stitch in any one of these chain one spaces. So again, I just rotate a little bit further than where we joined and it doesn't matter which chain one space, just any of them. And we're gonna pull up a loop. So again, round five, we start with a chain one and we single crochet into the same space as our join. And then we're going to chain two skip the next double crochet and then single crochet into the next chain one space, chain two, and we're going to repeat that 22 more times. So the repeat is skipping the next double crochet, single crocheting in the chain one space and chain two and 22 more times. So a very simple little repeat, but we have to do it quite a few more times and you'll end up back at the end of this round and I will meet you there. And here we are at the end of round five. We've done it 22 more times. We're going to end with skipping the next double crochet and slip stitching in the first single crochet of the round. So just pull up a loop in that first single crochet and through you the loop on the hook, clip your yarn three to four inches and pull through and you have finished round five. So now we've used all five of the colors that we're going to use. In the seven color, you would keep going. Um, but for five colors, this is the way that we're going. So we're going to go back to color A in round six. So color A for me again is the soft white. And we're going to go ahead with round six. So slip stitch in any one of the chain two spaces. These are all chain two spaces. And remember to always count your stitches. I'm not taking the time to do that with you, but I do have at the end of every round, the stitch count that you should have 
really good idea to check because you want to know as soon as you go off track instead of a few rounds later when you realize it doesn't add up properly and you realize that your mistake was actually three rounds back and you have to rip it out. So it's really good to count your stitches to stay on track. So we have 24 single crochet and 24 chain two spaces for the end of round five and they're all there. And I can choose any one of those chain two spaces to join in for round six. So I'm just going to pick one and I'm going to pull up my yarn to join. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to work two single crochet into that same space that I joined. And then I chain one. So another fairly simple round. You're going to skip over the next single crochet. You're going to work into the next chain two space and you're going to do two single crochet and chain one. So that's your repeat. So now you're going to repeat that 22 more times, just like last time. So very simple repeat, repeat that 22 more times and you'll end up at the end of the round and I will meet you there. So here we are at the end of round six and we have done our 22 repeats and now we're going to skip the next single crochet and slip stitch into the first single crochet of the round. So just pull loop through, clip our yarn, pull it through and you've finished round six. Now I often get asked what what would you use all these little granny squares for? They're really great stash busters but they work good for placemats, they work good for trivets, sometimes they're great for just wall hangings. But for this one in particular, I really like the idea that you could just stop here and use this as a coaster. And you can make a little set of these to match the larger square and use them in your kitchen or in your dining area. So there's lots of fun ideas you can do. But again, this would make a really cute little coaster. But we're going to continue on and finish our square. So we're going to move to round seven. We're going back to color A, which for me is a nice warm brown. So round seven, we are going to slip stitch in any one of the chain one spaces. So I rotate a little further along here and I'm just going to pull up my yarn in the chain one space. So we start with a chain four, so two, three, and four. This counts as your double crochet and a chain one. And then we're going to go ahead and double crochet in the same chain one space that we joined in. So right into here, we're going to work a double crochet. And then we're going to chain one. We're going to skip the next two single crochet. And then our square bracket says double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And that's all going to happen in this next chain one space. So here we go, double crochet. Oops, chain one and double crochet. I'm going to get a little slack on my yarn there. Okay, so there we go. We've done the square brackets. Now we're going to repeat from the star 22 more times. So a little more to this repeat, but again, the same 22 more times all the way around. So I'll do it one more time from the star. We go chain one, skip your next two single crochet, and then square bracket does a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet into that same chain one space. So there you go. Keep repeating, and I will meet you back at the end of the repeats at the end of this round. Okay, we have finished the repeats for round seven, and we're coming up to the end of our round. Now we want to chain one. We're skipping over these two single crochet and we're going to slip stitch again into the third chain as we've done before of our starting chain to finish our round. And we clip our yarn and there we have round seven completed. Again, this also would work as a nice coaster. You're getting a little bit bigger now, but depending on what size you like to use, that would work well as well. So now we're moving on to our next color. Again, we're going to color C, which is going to be this blue turquoise color. It's one of my favorite colors. 
One thing about using up my stash, which I'm constantly doing and buying more stash, um, some of these colors might not be available anymore, but I am listing them all on the blog post that goes with these videos, just in case uh, you can get an idea of what the color looks like, or perhaps maybe what color to look for yourself. So we are going into round eight now. So joining color C, which is our blue, and we're going to rotate a little bit further and we're going to slip stitch in any one of these chain one spaces. So this is a really great pattern if you just want to be watching a TV show or listening to an audiobook because the repeats are very simple and there's lots of them. So once you get it down, you can just keep on going. So a lot of crocheting, but very simple repeats and very repetitive. So in round eight, we're going to slip stitch in any one of these chain one spaces. So let's just pick one and pull up our yarn. And we go ahead and chain one and single crochet in the same space. So you're, you're seeing the, the rows repeat themselves as well. Very simple. So we're going to chain one. We're going to skip the next double crochet and single crochet in the next chain one space and chain one. See how simple that one is? It's just a single crochet, chain one. So we'll do it one more time. We're going to skip the next double crochet, single crochet in the next chain one space, and chain one. So we are going to repeat that all the way around. So the repeat requires you to do it 46 more times. So we just did one there. Um, 46 seems like a lot, but it's really a simple stitch single crochet, chain one. So work your way all the way around and I will meet you back at the end of the repeats. So here we are at the end of round eight. We've completed our 46 repeats and we are going to end our round by skipping over the next double crochet and slip stitching in the first single crochet of the round. Pull your yarn through clip the end and pull it the rest of the way through. And there you go. There is round eight. So at this stage, we are finishing the circle part. You notice the whole way we've just been creating this nice big circle. In round nine, we're going to square it off so that we can get our granny square. So here we have our color D and I'm going to join it in any one of the chain one spaces from the previous round. So it doesn't matter which one you'd use. So here we go. We'll just choose one and we will pull up a loop. And then we're going to go ahead and chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. So this counts as a treble. The first four count as our treble and a chain one. So then we're going to go ahead and treble in the same chain one space that we joined in. So treble requires two wraps of the yarn around your hook, insert into the same space, pull up a loop, and then just proceed to pull through two loops at a time, yarn over, two loops, yarn over, two loops. That's your treble. And then you're going to, next we hit these round brackets I told you about. So in the round brackets, we're going to have chain one, skip next single crochet and double crochet in next chain one space. All of that happens twice. So this isn't one of those go back and repeat number of times. It just means do what's in those brackets twice. So our first time through the brackets, we're going to chain one, skip next single crochet, double crochet in next chain one space. And that takes us to the end of the first bracket. Then it says twice. So now we're going to go back and do what's in the bracket one more time. So chain one, skip next single crochet and double crochet in the next chain one space. So we have now done what's in the bracket two times. Then we're moving on chain one, skip next single crochet, and do a half double crochet in the next chain one space. So a half double crochet, yarn over, insert into that chain one space, yarn over, you have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. That's your half double crochet. 
Then we're going to, we hit another set of brackets. We're going to chain one, skip next single crochet, single crochet in next chain one space. So that completes one bracket. The instructions say five times. So that's a total of five times. So we've done the first one. Now we want to chain one, skip next single crochet, single crochet next chain one, that's two times. Chain one, skip next single crochet, single crochet into next chain one space three times. And then we've got four times. And once more will give us five times. So we've done what's in the bracket five times. Then we proceed, chain one. So all those other rows were fairly simple, but this one you got to follow through step by step. So skip your next single crochet, yarn over and half double crochet into the next chain one space. So that yarn over, then insert into the space, yarn over, pull up loop. You got three loops and you're going to go through all three loops. That's your half double crochet. Then you go chain one. We're into another set of brackets, skip next single crochet, double crochet into next chain one space, We're almost across this side. Now we had to do those brackets twice. We did it once. Second time through the bracket, chain one, skip next single crochet, double crochet in next chain one space. So there we go. We've completed the brackets twice. It might be helpful to have a little um, page marker and just follow through because this, this round nine is a, is a long one in written form. <laughs> so chain one, skip next single crochet. And now we've hit the square brackets and the square brackets requires everything in those brackets to be done into the next chain one space. So we're going to do a treble twice around our hook into the chain one space. We go and bring up a loop and two at a time. We finish off the treble. Then we go chain one and then another treble. So I'll just get through this treble. And then we're still in the square brackets, chain three, one, two, three, and then treble. So twice around the hook, two more trebles. It's a lot into this chain one space, but it fits just fine. And then we do a chain one. And the last thing in our square brackets is another treble right into that chain one space. So they're all in the same chain one space. This creates our corner. So it all goes into this chain one space and don't worry, it'll fit. And I have it here written in next chain one space, which is the corner. And there we go. Now we're going to repeat from the star two more times. So let's take a look here. We started here and we worked our way all along one side to the next corner. We're going to repeat from the star across. That's one time down. That's two times. Then we're going to go from the single star to the double star in the written. I'm, I'm talking about the written pattern and that will take us to our final corner. And I will meet you at the final corner to finish off our round. So here we are at the end of round nine. We've done all of our repeats. We worked across the first side, created our first corner. Then we repeated down, created our second corner, repeated across, created our third corner. And then we went back following the double star to our last corner. And here's where we will complete the round. So after we have completed to the double star, we then do a treble. And again, it's a square bracket. So treble chain one treble in same chain one space is joining. So that's this one right here. And we're going to go in there and do a treble. Oops. Hook falling off chain one, a little bit too much tension there. And a treble. So that's our square bracket. And then we chain three, one, two and three and we slip stitch in the fourth chain of the starting chain five because the first four chains represent our first treble. So we slip stitch, pull the yarn all the way through, clip our color 
and pull it through. And there you have round nine, which squares off our granny square. So we were doing our circle up until that round, and now we've created the corners so that we have our granny square. The next two are going to be framing, and we're going to frame a little bit different than I have the other ones. So we'll walk through those round 10 and round 11 to give the square a final finish. So in round 10, I'm going to use the gray. When I get to the edges, sometimes I'll mix it up with the colors. I might choose two of my favorite colors to finish off the edging. So I could use this brown and the blue instead. But I'm going to go ahead um, with the way that I've done the pattern, and I'm going to use the gray, which is my final color, color E, A, B, C, D, E, for round 10, and then back to D for round 11. So again, you can mix it up when you get to these last two rounds and choose whichever two colors you want. But we're going to go ahead with round 10 being with E. So we're going to join color A with a slip stitch in any one of these chain three corners. So I'm not going to do it in the same one I finished, so I'll rotate to the next corner. And I'm going to pull up a loop. And we'll get started with a chain one. And then we have our brackets, which means that everything in that bracket gets done in the same space. So we're going to do a single crochet. It's all going into the same space that we joined in. Single crochet, chain two, and single crochet in the chain three space that we joined in. So now we have our round brackets, which means everything in those round brackets are done the number of times total by the number following it. So in this case, we have a chain one, skip next stitch, single crochet in next chain one space, and bracket 14 times total. So let's walk through our first one. So we're going to chain one, skip your next stitch, and then single crochet in your next chain one space. That's it. And then you're going to do that 14 times total, which will take us to the next corner. And I'll meet you there. Okay, so we've worked our way across to the next corner. We did it 14 times total, and now we're at the next chain three space. So the instructions skip next stitch and repeat from star. So we're going to chain one. Oops, sorry, chain one is out here, chain one. And then in the next chain three space, we are going to single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And then we're going to work our round brackets, which is chain one, skip next stitch, and single crochet in next chain one space. And here we are again. We want to do that 14 times total. And we're on our second repeat. So we're going to go all the way across here to the next corner. And that will be repeating the second time with the stars. Then we're going to repeat it a third time, which takes us down to this final corner. And then we're going to work a one last time that takes us across to the end of the round and I will meet you there. So here we are, we've done it across the top and then we've repeated it three more times and it's brought us back to our final corner and we're going to finish off around 10, skipping the next stitch and chain, we did our chain one. We're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet of the round, pull the yarn through, chop off our end, and we are finished round 10. So we only have round 11 left. It's the same as the round I've just done, but I will walk you through that. Um, I am going to use this beige color because that is the one I used in the pattern. But again, you could use any one of the colors you want. So we want to join our color D in this case, and we're going to slip stitch in any chain two space corner. So I'm going to not go to the one I just finished at and rotate to the next one. And I'm going to pull up the yarn in the chain two space, and we're going to chain one and go ahead and single crochet, chain two, single crochet in that chain two corner. Then you're going to 
round bracket, chain one, skip next stitch and single crochet in the next chain one space. And the round bracket says do that 15 times and it will take you to the next corner. And then you're going to repeat from the star three more times. So down this side, across the bottom, back up, and I will meet you back at the end of round 11 so we can complete our granny square. And here we are at the end of round 11. We did our first row and then we repeated three more times. And we are up here at the end. Let's complete round 11. Let's put my hook back in that loop. Okay, we are going to slip stitch in the first stitch of the round. That's it, that's how you complete it. Pull it through, chop our yarn, pull it through, and there you are. And that completes our granny square that I call sky. Thanks for joining me in this tutorial. And remember you can find the written pattern and the full chart with the symbols over on my website. I'll leave the link in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all my tutorials. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.